Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's a simple stamping card. It's a throwback to a card that I did um, last April using a different uh, stamp set. And let's get started. Okay, so the supplies I'm using, I have a piece of white, which is two by five and a quarter. I have a piece of black, which is two and an eighth by five and three eighths. I have a piece of designer series paper. This is the poppy paper, which is three by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of black, which is three and three sixteenths by five and three eighths. Then my final layer is white, which is four and a quarter by five and three eighths. And it has been um, embossed with the Subtles embossing folder. Actually, I don't think it's four and a quarter. No, it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I have my standard um, card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply this to the front of my card. This is the, the Subtles embossed. Oh, I forgot to show you all the stamp sets and stuff. So let me just glue this down and then I'll finish that. I guess I'm just too excited. I got to a spot where I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I went back and cased one of my own cards. I did change it a little bit because I added the designer series paper layer. Okay, so let's put these layers aside. There's the Subtles embossing folder. It's the one that has just that little bit of texture in it. We're going to be using Positive Thoughts. I'm just going to be using the butterfly. And then one of the sentiments, I, I chose Sending Positive Thoughts and Feel Good Wishes. Um, but this one would work as well. Friends like you mean more every year. For inks, I have Real Red, Pumpkin Pie, Pineapple Punch, Granny Apple Green, Blueberry Bushel, and Gorgeous Grape. And then I have Memento for the sentiment. So let's get started stamping. I'm going to bring in this piece here. Got something on it already. Let's just turn it over, I guess. All right, and we're going to start with the red ink. There's also what another important aspect you're going to need, and that is uh, either a chamois or a Stampin' Scrub, so that you can uh, make sure you clean your stamp in between colors. So I'll go ahead and put that here. Oh, my poppies are just moving around. That's all right. I didn't glue them down, I just have them sitting there. Alright, so I'm going to ink up the real red. And I'm going to start at this end of my two by five and a quarter inch piece of white. And I'm going to stamp this red butterfly. Okay, and I'm going to clean off my stamp. And I'm going to bring in pumpkin pie. Perfect. Wash it off. Make sure it's dry. I'll make sure. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to bring in the pineapple punch. I apologize for my voice. I'm fighting a little bit of a cold right now. Perfect. Clean that one off. 
come in with the granny apple green. Now if I was doing this with a group, what I would do is pass the stamp pad and one ink color around, bring it back and wash it, and then so they'd each stamp the one color. That's what I did um, last year when I did the tree one. That way we didn't have as much washing and changing of the inks or worrying about getting the ink pads contaminated by stamping in the wrong color. So whichever way you want to put them. One more. Oh, gorgeous grape. Then I'm going to come in with the memento ink. And ink up my sentiment. Make sure it's all good and inked. And I'm going to stamp that right across this top here. tried to um, stamp it so that the bottom line fit between the um, two butterflies, but it doesn't always work that way. Okay, that's all the stamping. It's really a simple stamping card, except that you're using quite a bit of different colors. Let's go ahead and wash this while I'm at it. Alright, and let's put this card together. So we're going to bring in our base and all of our pieces. And we're going to layer this on the top of the uh, 3 and 3 sixteenths by, no, this is 2 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. So it's going to layer like that. It's just going to have a little tiny bit of a border. Since that ink might still be wet, I'm going to get it where I want it. I'm going to turn it over and rub it from the back. That way I don't smear the ink. Okay. Then I'm going to layer these two pieces, the Designer Series Paper and the uh, 5 and 3 sixteenths. I just made it so that there was a same size border all the way around it. You cut your designer series paper and then trim the black so that it has the border you want. Okay, we're going to bring in our card base. We're going to go ahead and glue this down here at this bottom. And it's about a quarter of an inch from the bottom of our layer. It's straight. It's kind of hard to tell with this. And then we're going to bring in this layer. And this one you could pop up with if you wanted to. But I just glued it straight on. It would be pretty popped up with dimensionals as well. This way, it's a simple stamping card. There you go. Now I did add the bow. At this point it's a simple stamping card. Let me add the bow. I just tied it around. 
Well, actually, it's not because I embossed this, so I guess it's not a simple stamping card. But you could do this, this layer directly onto the front of your card base. I forgot I embossed that layer. There we go. Well, I need a pair of scissors. Tidy it up a little bit here. Okay, well there's the card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find some time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.